We're here at Farex with a brand new look stand promoting a new product for us, Testifier XTR2. This is more than just any new tester. There's a lot more to it. We're looking at reporting and overall compliance. So we're going to have a chat with Anthony now, who's going to talk us through some of the features of this new product. So, Anthony, this is Testifier. I assume because it's Testifier, it's an all-in-one tester. Absolutely. So, Testifier XTR2 is a multifunction smoke and heat tester from one tester head. Our users will know Testifier 1000 yeah. in the marketplace already, but this is much, much more than just a replacement for that. And I'll come into that, as you mentioned, on the reporting and the compliance as well. But if we take a look at the tester head first, yeah. um, obviously, it's far more modern. It's got a ruggedized body, the yeah. durability, much slimmer. Yeah. The weight distribution is, is, is much, much better. Obviously, we've done away with the old keypad and LCD yeah. display, and we've got a full um, touch screen interface now where you can select your test mode at ease okay. and some device settings as well should you need to modify those. So we can actually those. program the test via the Absolutely. The with a couple of taps, you can okay. change from smoke to heat or a combined or a sequential test or even an ASD test mode as well. So it's got everything you need in there. Mm -hmm. Everything is contained in the back of the product as well now. Okay. So there's no battery button anymore. Uh, okay. So the battery button is now a thing of the past. Right. Battery pack is now contained in the back along okay. with your smoke generator, mm -hmm. which is interchangeable, mm -hmm. which is a new feature for Testifier. Okay. And your smoke cartridge as well. Fantastic. Obviously, the first thing that stands out is it's a black test cup. Yes. So yes, I think something... people will be used to the clear cup exactly. of course, looking at the uh, detector. So a lot of questions might be said about why, you, why we've done that and yep. why you can't see through the cup anymore. Mm -hmm. And the answer is simply because this product automates your test reports. Um, it's got 21 LED sensors in here okay. and it will detect when the detector activates and it will stop the test automatically. So it's pretty high tech. Yeah. We're pretty pleased and proud of it. It's got a connected app as well, the Detector Testers Connect app. You can pair it to your mobile device and you can see consumable status is live, uh, battery, cartridge, smoke generator status. Okay. And you can even create a test job and start building a test report as you test. So what do we do first? We, we, we... we pair our device first. Okay. And then you can see your consumable stasis. It's still by Bluetooth, presumably. That's yep, right, yep. yeah. It's got a Bluetooth connection. Um, you can create a test job here. Okay. And it will search for locations nearby you. Okay. So, so this was automatically... Absolutely. It's, got good, it's powered by Google Maps. So Excel London, uh -huh. that's where we are today. Yep. We go to the next step and I can select a test mode here. Okay. I'm going to do a smoke test first. Yep. And I'm only going to do one just for demonstration. Now I'm in a test job. This now you've selected mm -hmm. smoke that's mirrored Ab on the absolutely. screen. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. And I can change my test mode from here to heat, and you can see I'm doing a, a, a heat test now. There you uh, go. Yeah. Okay. okay. But actually, I want to do a smoke, so yep. I'm going to change Fine. it okay. back yeah, here, no and it mirrors there as well. So this part is as you would expect, norm from many of our products. Yep. Inside the test cup is an infrared uh, beam. When the detector enters the cup, it will start the test automatically. Yep. But this time, you won't be looking for the detector LED yourself. Okay. I see you've got a, a light there as well. Yeah, so on. in dark areas, it's got an LED torch that comes on automatically as well. That's now indicating that the test is taking place. It's flashing away to say that a test is taking place. Oh. There we go. So then you can see that's passed now. You heard the alarm. Yep. And you saw the green flashing light momentarily there before proceeding to the white flashing light. Well, okay. that's now the green light is telling you that the test was successful and now it's moved to its clearing function, which is the white LED. So you can see what's going on from down below. Yep. Um, and no need to keep looking up, I suppose. Exactly, I suppose we're looking up. Yeah. Actually, we don't need to, do we? That's the beauty that's, of it, because you're getting the it. result and, and in the can, app. And you can and see it And you're seeing it from uh, the LED. Absolutely, app, yeah. The, so that's now device. clearing the detector. And what we mean by that is we're removing any lingering smoke okay. so that that detector does not re-alarm. So that was that. Um, and that's really as simple as it is. That result has now been pinged back to the, the, the mobile device. And as you can see here, we've got a test record already okay. there. Yes. So, so you'd go through the site, and as you were doing more detectors, they'd all just appear. Yeah, of in, course, yeah. You, you could, there's an unlimited number of tests you can do per job. Yep. And you can even add things like test notes. So I'm going to add one here to say, this was a test that we took place at FireX. Okay. So if I finish that test job, I've got a, 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 another page here, which allows me to put in some extra bits and pieces about, have I tested batteries, doors, extinguishers? Uh, okay, yep. So we heard so the sounder. Yep. So I'm going to suggest that we, uh, we, we verified that the sounder was yep. functioning. On the last page, there's a signatory option here. And okay. if I could ask you to be my uh, service manager yep. today, sign it and yeah. enter your, your details. facilities manager. That's it, yeah. So I'm putting my name in here as well. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So yep. I'm now going to close and submit that test job. And you can see here, we've got a test record here at okay. Excel London. Yep. So 
That's the engineer's part on the day. Okay, so that's the complete. tester. That's what we the, the that's engineer the tester will see. That's the and the connected use. device. So we are testing and reporting yep. as we work. Yep. Okay. Next. So now, presumably, then all that data goes into this report that we've been Ab talking about. Absolutely. From the engineer's point of view, they've now completed their test job on site. Yep. From the test equipment and the connected app, okay. and they've submitted that job. Now, for the office staff. That job is now closed and ready to, to, to view as a report. So you can okay. see here, I've done a couple today already. Yep. Um, this one took place just moments ago at Excel, where we are today. Yep. And you can obviously view the report, a very short report, as we said. Okay. And you can see I added a little note there as well to show it was a fire test that okay. we did today. And you get this summary here, I notice. Um, so presumably, absolutely. if you were doing more detectors, you'd have yeah, all the details of smoke, heat. Yeah, ASD. absolutely. So we can take a look at some other ones as well. Um, so we can see here, uh, Oliver was doing a test uh, a few days ago okay. and um, he did a number of smoke tests. So you can see how this would build out on, yep. uh, on site doing uh, yeah, yeah. real life testing, sure. if you like. Yep. Okay. And you can obviously see the additional equipment that we looked at earlier on the, on the app okay. to say whether it was tested or not. And cool. that summary is there. Yep. Now, the summary will show you where it was tested. That's the location you mm -hmm. chose as you set up the job yep. on the app. Uh, the technician who, who was uh, actually who conducting was, the yep. test, the date, the time as in the duration of the full job, mm -hmm. and the device that was used, the details about that. Okay. So the office staff can then use this page to, uh, uh, to email that report. Uh, okay. So what, by doing so, that report will be sent to the uh, user's inbox to send on to uh, the okay. customer. Okay, so that could go along with any invoicing or additional Abs yeah, paperwork. Correct. Yeah, correct. Okay. And you can also download it as a CSV report as well. Um, raw format should right. you should you need to so do some analysis on yeah, it okay. and, and yeah so there's that option there as well so if um, i was the service manager yeah. and i had a team of five ten engineers all of the reports from all the jobs that they were working on or completed would all appear yeah. in this and i could access this from my desk correct doing, yeah. so if we go back to the reports tab here you yep. can see all the technicians that have been conducting tests we all work for the same company yeah here. okay and you can see these all appearing there and obviously this would get quite long a long large list yep um, so we've got some clever features in here to do a search or even a filter function. Okay. And you can uh, filter by technician. So if, for example, I choose myself there and I apply that filter, you can see just mine. So very quickly, you can whittle down that list to a manageable size. You need to work harder. I know, I need to get out on a few more jobs, don't I? And if we do that again, and if we reset that filter, for example, yep. let's look at someone else. Uh, let's look at Martin and apply and we can see that Martin's been doing some tests as well. Yeah, really powerful stuff for the, uh, the service manager. The next tab I notice is devices. So yeah. what, do we, what do we get from that? So if we have a look at the devices tab, simply we can see all the Testifier XTR2 products that are registered to this company. So okay. our company, we have a number of devices here. And on this page, you can see some details about the product. So it's serial number, um, but also more importantly, who last used it, mm -hmm. the date it was last used and where it was last right, used. Wow. Okay. okay. Yep. So you've got all that information so you can keep a track of where they are. Yep. And if you know, if you ever need to track one down, you know who you need to speak with. And this is presumably really easy to set up at the start when you buy the device. That's right. So do. when you first get the device, you would come here on the service portal and you would add a new device up here okay. yep. and you would simply enter your serial, serial number. number from the product. Absolutely. And that just guides you through the whole process. Correct. You also see the date it was first registered. Okay. Um, and the date that the warranty on the device ends. Okay, and the warranty is really interesting this time because with XTR2, it's actually a 24 month warranty. That's right, yeah. yes. Okay. So it's a two year warranty from the date of first registration. Right. Um, so, it, like we were saying earlier, it's a quality, robust product, and we stand by it with a two year warranty now. Fantastic. I know one, that. one last thing on this page, you can also see the last consumable status. So, that will look okay. familiar. Yep. to what you saw earlier in the app. On the app, yeah. So again, this is really powerful yep. stuff for the service manager, I guess. If you're setting up work Correct. for the week, the month ahead, yeah. how much smoke does he need to buy? What's the battery charge like? Correct. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. fantastic. Okay, um, and then we move along. I see we've got technicians. I presume that's similar to the devices. That's right. So you can see all your users here yep. that are added. And um, uh, obviously, if you get new technicians join the company, you would add them here and you yep. can denote whether they're an admin or not. And okay. simply, if you're an admin, you have access to the portal. Okay. If you're not an admin, you only have access to the app. So you may only want your engineers to, to just have, be recording to, uh, the results. You may basically. want your office staff to have admin uh, okay. access. Um, to restrict who can actually get onto the portal. Okay, settings, is, yeah. You can upload your own logo as well. A small, okay. per, a small little touch, but you can actually personalize your, the digital reports with your own logo so that you've got your branding on there. Yeah, just when great you send it out, brand awareness it looks really professional. Yeah. yeah, no, like that, like that. And that really is the service manager portal in a, 
in a nutshell. Thank you very much, Anthony. So there we have it, everybody. Uh, Testifier XTR2, our complete solution for testing smoke, heat uh, detectors and offering reporting. Um, for more information, please get in touch with us. We've got BDMs all around the world. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have, or you can check out more information on our website, detectortesters.com. Testifier XTR2. Test. Report. Share.